move on next to talking about uh, Kate. Ron, if you can give a background of uh, uh, what what Kate is, I know you've been here for a couple of years, but aware of that far beforehand when you were at Owensboro Independent. So, can give folks a little bit of background of what the organization of Kate is, what it does. Yeah, I was just talking to Brenda, and it started. In, I think she said, twelve years ago. Eleven. Nin nine Eleven years. Ninety six, right? Nineteen ninety six. Nineteen ninety six. Um, I've been here just a little over two years. Uh, Kate works really across the state in supporting and encouraging instructional technology in the K-12 districts. Uh, we do do a lot of professional development, uh, a lot of working with, uh, again, t other teachers in the districts, and so we're really enjoying the work and uh, have a good staff to help uh, support that work. And there's a wide range of things that um, that Kate does. I just looking at your website, facilitate the implementation of state and national standards for the use of technology education, enabling teachers and students to use technology tools to solve problems and make decisions using higher uh, level uh, thinking skills, sponsoring activities that promote best instructional technology practices, and providing a variety of web resources including data repository of learning objects, and utilizing all available mediums to, to, for the improvement of instructional technology. And that's just not for Western Kentucky, it's been across the state. And it's been, been uh, an, an outstanding partnership uh, since 96. If we could do something, um, um, I would like to bring in, this is the first time we've really done this, we're going to connect with uh, the University of Kentucky. Um, Bill Stillware, if you, if you go to the, uh, uh, the, the link I sent you, both the invite and the reminder, there's a little bit of background about Bill Stillwell. And uh, Bill, good morning. Good morning, David. Yeah. I like your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, it's Bill. Murray Gold. Yes. The um, uh, reason we want to bring uh, Bill on is uh, every year we get the chance to do to recognize an organization that's been an outstanding partner for all the schools across our state. Bill Stillwell was our first recipient of what we call the Stillwell Award, if you take a look at it. And it's the organization that supports schools that goes way above and beyond the call of duty. The second winner of the award was Bob Tarvin. Then we had Kisty, and last year we have KT. And this year is the 2012 winner of the Stillwell Award is Kate. Thank you. So if you can hand me the suspenders. If you take a look at uh, take a look at Bill. Um, mm. Bill wears wet, red suspenders. Use it. There we go. There's the red suspenders by Bill. All right. Very nice. David. Very nice. So, Bill, I'll let you say a few comments. Put Brenda up here. Yeah. <laughs> nice catch. Since we started listservs, there have been many questions that have been imponderable until Kate. First by Brenda Nix, answered them. We across the state have truly appreciated the knowledge shared by Kate with the educators in the state. I applaud this award. I agree with it. It's even better because my daughter graduated from Murray. <laughs> and I have a Suggestion, David, for your post, what do you call it, post webcast, is it post webcast, post webcast meal. Uh, there is a, uh, I think, Amish restaurant on the southeast side of town that all the locals know about. Ask a local, do they know? They don't know what I'm talking about, do they? Dig, dig local. Come on, local. You over there on that side. That's Hester House. It's no longer there. Oh, it's moved on, Bill. What, which, which one you right recommend? Now. Which one you recommend locally? Unique. Dumplings. Dumplings. All right, we're gonna go to dumplings. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Tell him it burnt down. <laughs> it, it, it burnt down, Bill. <laughs> Hey, David, thank you for letting me stay here. I've got uh, an important appointment tomorrow, this afternoon. Uh, I'll let you know what happens uh, hopefully later in the day. 
Right. Well, thank you, Bill. And and once again, this is it, this is one of the awards that we enjoy giving once a year. It's not a uh, school district or anything from the department. This is really a partnership that we have with some other organization. And um, once again, we appreciate, Brenda, your work for so many years in establishing, of course, you're a former employee of ours, an alumni of ours, uh, been outstanding in every capacity, and Ron's carried that torch. It's a, it's a great partnership, just not with the Department of Education, from, uh, from across the state. So we just want to say thank you, and this is our simple way of doing it. We do have an award that we will... Somewhere along here, yeah, I'll give you a little bit later on that has... Uh, Of course, Bill's suspenders on it, okay? <laughs> so we'll make sure we give that to you and uh, for your enjoyment. So once again, thank you for your, thank you. your, your efforts, uh, for all the folks that, that work at Kate, they're here now, and those that have, have come and gone um, over the years. David. Yes, David, sir. Those suspenders are important signals of the support mm. of education provided by Kate. Think of them as support. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. See y'all later. All right, that worked. It did work. <laughs>